What is up, YouTube? I am Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Uh, if it looks like I've been crying or something, um, I just I just went through a very hellish try not to laugh challenge. Now, you can go ahead and check out the, the video for that. Maybe I'll put a card somewhere in this video that you can go to and watch that challenge, because it, it was a tough one. Uh, and right now I'm I'm in a laughing happy mood, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the mock the week too hot for TV uh, video. This is part three. There are two other parts that I've already reacted to. Uh, this is a 40 minute long video, but I've been tackling it about 10 minutes per video. Um, so if you want to see the entire video by itself, I will leave a link in the description box down below that you can click on, and it'll take you straight to their uh, that video. You can watch it without me pausing it or talking over it or whatever else. Cause a lot of people like to say, oh, well, you're talking over it. You're going to miss something. I don't miss anything, really. For the most part, I catch everything. And when I do talk over it, that's the point of a reaction. I'm giving you my opinion about it. If you want to watch the original video, just watch the original video. But anyway, let's go ahead and check this out and continue it. This will be stopping after 10 minutes. Like I said, if you want to see the entire 40-minute video, click the link. Let's check this out. Apparently, uh, Scotland games now at Hamden, they've actually banned food from the ground and they search you when you're going in to make sure that you've not got food on you. Nice to see that we've got our priorities right, isn't it? <laughs> What's this sort of knife? I hope you weren't planning on making sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, a Scottish guy is the number one British tennis player. I've not checked my Nostradamus, but isn't that one of the harbingers of the apocalypse? <laughs> the only time I'd previously seen a Scottish guy playing tennis, it was someone playing charades, attempting to mime the word homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> I know this part was on the last one. I went back a little bit. Impossible to divide it. Points for every 11. Points at the last show. All get points. Come back. Get a round of applause. Mm. Our next round is called, if this is the answer, what is the question? Here's our big board uh, with the six categories. From the categories chosen, I read out an answer in the place of to guess what the question might be. Adam, which category would you like? Transport, please. Okay, transport it is. The answer is crazy, loopy and un-British. <laughs> what is the question? Is it, what Go is Mohammed Al-Fayed? <laughs> <laughs> is, is it, what is Prince Philip? <laughs> is it uh, is it who are the arch enemies of snap crackle and pop <laughs> <laughs> see most of mine get the references to the the first comment and the prince phillips i understand prince philip uh well i, I can get context for why that's funny but um yeah a lot of times i don't get the references and i will let you guys know that so don't think oh well he's fake laughing because i've had people say that i have no need to fake laugh because if I don't laugh I'll just tell you I didn't get it <laughs> but um yeah you guys have to give me context a lot of times uh, what nicknames has Madonna given her children yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it if you read the Daily Mail <laughs> what is everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what do you call slapping a bulldog <laughs> <laughs> Bulldogs are very British dogs. They got How a very would you Winston Churchill the Chelsea goalkeeper look to them. immediately after he'd been kneading the head. <laughs> you sick fucker, Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's like hammer gags, they never go in. They never I think it's what people were saying about the lady who was wearing the crucifix for British Airways, Peter Hain, people like that. That's absolutely right. Well done, Andy Parsons. Thank you. Right. Yeah. That's a very specific the answer. The question I was looking for was, how did public figures describe British Airways' decision to send home an employee for refusing to cover up a crucifix necklace? Check-in worker Nadia Oida argued she was being unfairly treated and said that Muslim and Sikh employees were still allowed to wear headscarves and turbans. Now, obviously, the distinction is that she could have put the crucifix uh, under other clothes, where it's very difficult to hide a head, like a, uh, like a turban. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless they gave them all, like, you know, Afro wigs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the problem was, though, wasn't it? Was that you, she had, it was only the size of a five-pence piece. Mm. She should have had a much larger cross and worn it on her head 
And then she'd have been absolutely <laughs> fine, wouldn't she? She should have been nailed to a cross while she was doing the safety demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> the exits are here. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be more to it, hasn't there? It can't just, they can't just have been annoyed about her wearing a cross. No, it, it does seem... It is. Yeah, I'm going I'm to continue to uh, go back. But yeah, that, that is a weird uh, thing. I mean, I understand that, like, a lot of times in certain areas you don't really want to make it seem like you're favoring one religion or another, but this is an extremely stupid case. I mean, it's just a, a, a small cross. If somebody has an issue with that, then... That would be the definition, the, not the definition, but that would be the stereotypical example of outrage culture. I mean, I've already told you guys I'm an atheist. I don't follow religion at all. But um, even I know that is a bullcrap reason for why somebody should be outraged. It's just, it, it's weird. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on. <laughs> There's got to be more to it, hasn't there? They can't just, they can't just have been annoyed about her wearing a cross. No, it, it, it does seem, it does seem the, the cross is very common. Probably she was hassling Jewish passengers. <laughs> did you pack your own bags, madam? And why did you kill Jesus? <laughs> Adam, well, I, I just don't think that people are going to be that worried about seeing somebody wearing a crucifix when they get on the, you know, the flight. I think they might be more worried if they saw the pilot get on and he starts going... Like this. <laughs> I think that could worry people. What's really funny as well is like you have to take your shoes off just in case you've got bombs in your shoes, which, you know, surely it's fairly obvious. If you approach like that, <laughs> <laughs> either you've got rickets or you're a bomber. <laughs> or you've got pins and needles. Pins and needles. And you could just pass it off with that. <laughs> <laughs> he put the bombs in his shoes. He wasn't actually a terrorist, wasn't he just a nutter? So he tried to set Richard fire Reed. to no, his own the... shoes with matches. Yeah. As, a, as a method of detonating explosives, that's up there with clutching a stick of dynamite between your butt cheeks and eating a curry. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Adam, you've probably uh, travelled more internationally in the last world than, than any of us. Uh, how is security at the moment? Are you having any difficulties? So, uh, yeah, yeah, I always. Well, I've got an artificial foot, as you know. Yes, I do know. So uh, clearly every time... I don't know if you knew that, Hugh. When you I, I have an artificial penis. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided not to, you know, compare notes on that later. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it does have metal bits on the side. So g going through airport metal detectors oh, is that's just that's brilliant. Really? I, I, went through, um, I went through Heathrow Airport three days after September 11, and reaction of the foot was great, because I walked through, and of course everything's gone off, and beep, 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 they're right over here, put your arms out, and they patted me down. And they got to that moment where they kind of knocked on the foot and it, there was a wooden sound and the guy just kind of looked at me and just went right what's going on down there <laughs> and in innocence, I just went oh it's an artificial foot and his he just went oh geez go through mate no just go through <laughs> thinking, well check there could be a knife no 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 just yeah. go mate <laughs> if the plane goes down I don't want to offend a spastic just go for God's sake. <laughs> So when, you're going, when you're going to one of the ones in which you have to take off, when there's a bit of a rigmarole anyway, and you know, yeah, people, yeah. Are, people are sullen, they spend the entire day looking at people sullenly going past, going, well, here's my belt, and here's my shoe, and yeah. then you could just go, and I'll see your belt, and I'll see your shoe. <laughs> 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 take your shoe off, or yes, you just take the whole thing off? No, the shoe comes off first, and then I put it on. I usually you, use it you to... You made that sound actually kind of sexy. The shoe comes off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. if needs be, the Velcro. Yeah. <laughs> Velcro? Yeah, this, it's, it's held on by Velcro. Is that Velcro straight onto the hair of your leg, or is it... <laughs> 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 no, it's a Velcro. That's, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's really really cutbacks in the health service are really... <laughs> 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 Expecting a dovetail joint? Yeah, well, <laughs> ideally, or some sort of modern prosthetic, you know, masking tape, maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, you get toes you... that did all the different functions of a Swiss Army knife? <laughs> 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 I do have toes on it. Huh? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've I got think, I, think, I think the question everyone wants is get your foot out, Adam. Let's show us your foot. Just put it on the table. It's Velcro time. The mic. It's I've got a terrific view, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> are, you not, are you not ever tempted? 
<laughs> it's off. <laughs> Have you ever thought of just going R when you take it off? <laughs> what I want to know is, have you ever got pins and needles in your artificial foot? Yeah. <laughs> right, the just foot. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> it just dropped his like, oh shit. <laughs> There gotta be a better way to take off feet nowadays. I mean, I know that's a weird ass thing to be saying, but in some cases the context is correct. Now, um, oh man, yeah. What I want to know is, uh, well, never mind. See, sometimes I want to say stuff, but then I gotta remember on YouTube when you say certain things, it's like your video is edging on a certain rating. And then just one sentence will just knock it into another category. <laughs> so to keep it down here, um, I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill. That one? <laughs> <laughs> He's removed the right foot. That was actually it huge foot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was huge. <laughs> he was getting excited. It's like it's like show and tell, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Who's got something else now? Come on. Uh, so I, I'm I'm impressed by the by the fake because presumably there's there's no good like there's no tactile reason. Why is it shaped like a club foot? What, what's with the ankle? What's with the gigantic ankle? Like, come on now, they could have gave my dude something better instead of giving us something that looks like he has some type of old middle not I want to keep saying middle eastern middle aged illness. You got elephantitis of the foot, crazy. For the air, there's no essential. Do you know what it was? There. It was because when I was uh, about 14, uh, you know, at, uh, getting to that age in a boy's life where, you know, you're having things going on, and, and <laughs> the doctors basically sat down with me and said, Is there anything the other kids can do that you can't? And bearing that I grew up in Australia, I said, Yeah, I want to wear thongs. <laughs> Which thongs, course, by the way, meaning flip flops. Uh, uh, just hello. Adam, have you ever put <laughs> beer in your foot and drunk okay. it? Okay. Yes. Huh? <laughs> he was so ashamed of that, like, yes. What they did, the reason there are toes here is because when I said I want to wear flip-flops, they made me one that had a gap there so that I could put flip-flops in there. But it didn't work because when, whenever you walk in flip-flops, as you walk, you grip with your toes to hold the flip-flop on. So you need to go, ping, yeah. and find all <laughs> So my mum then put Velcro on a flip-flop. <laughs> Yeah. If it wasn't mm. for Velcro, we don't take enough time to thank Velcro for, for the wonderful world. Just, just turn to the camera. Thanks, Velcro. Thank you, Velcro. <laughs> Thanks for everything. This episode of Mark the League was sponsored you by Velcro. <laughs> thank you, Adam, for what couldn't send it into freak show territory. But you this this episode of Mark the League was brought to you by Velcro. Get your shit together. Get it. Get your shit together. I know. I'm, I, I got a million of them. <laughs> Thank you, Adam, for what couldn't send it into freak show territory, but you held it together with an enormous <laughs> amount of dignity, as we basically said, show us the weird thing! Show us the weird thing! Let us see the unusual limb! <laughs> <laughs> he wants to see my artificial penis. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the one you had made so that you could wear a thong? <laughs> yeah, you know, I bet you feel really shallow yeah. now about your ooh, pins and needles. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> mediocre so little off. complaint. The thing, is, the thing is, I was tap dancing outside his dressing room earlier. I feel like an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> On travel news, uh, of, the, of the greatest travel story of the week was Tina the tortoise. Uh, Tina the tortoise <laughs> lost a leg, so they attached uh, a rear wheel to the back of Tina's shell. Did they attach mm. it using Velcro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when that tortoise goes to do a TV panel show, all the audience will be going, show us the wheel! <laughs> <laughs> what happens if that tortoise is set upon? And someone steals the wheels and you find it up on bricks. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's his name? Is, is it Tina? Tina. Tina's Her name Tina. is Tina. There's no way that Tina's going to be able to hide from people she doesn't like anymore. You know, because before you can hide in your shell. Oh, that could be anyone. Tina, we know it's you. You've got a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, how are you doing? <laughs> it's a very, very complex social network that tortoises are. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. Um, that way I can have enough uh, 
video I'll have to try to evenly split everything between four videos uh wow yeah Th this was a very interesting episode i know somebody left a comment on uh the last video about uh it's funny that it was something about the guy who had pins and needles getting helped by the person with the artificial foot or something like that and for a minute i was thinking like wait what i don't i don't think that was established you're, you're establishing things that weren't established yet but well, damn! <laughs> this is—you must have seen this episode already. This entire this entire clip was dedicated to the guy with the foot and Velcro. So again, Velcro, thank you for making medical Marvel achievements, and well, for the people that make artificial feet, learn how to do ankles. I don't—that's all I really think about. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Um, this video was uploaded by. It's been such a minute since I've looked at it. Uh, Grammy uh, Martin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Gra Grimy Martin. Now, forgive me if I butchered the name, but I will have a link for the channel at the end of this video, like I always do. So if you want to see the original content creator, you can click on the link and go and check it out. Um, like I said before, the original link for the video is in the description box down below. So make sure you go and check that out as well if you haven't already seen it. Or if you want to see the next 10 minutes of the video, um, you can click on that and watch ahead. Uh, and then you'll know what to expect when I go ahead and do a reaction to it later. But uh, anyway, that's it for today. I'm probably going to wrap it up. I want to thank you guys for coming through. And I'm Devon DaVinci. You just been a little more enlightened. And I'm going to give you the deuces and I'm signing out. Deuces.